Hello guys, my name is Russian Alex and today I'm going to show you how to use a clip to make a cinematic effect and um, using uh, the expression tools in Adobe After Effects of course um, it's called the wiggle effect or the screen shake effect uh, we're going to be using this clip, I'm sorry that it's laggy um, we're going to drag it in to Adobe After Effects like so so let's get started first you want to drag or import your files in Adobe After Effects you can drag them in uh, by just pulling the file in or go to file import file and you can choose a file and import it now you want to create a new composition for the time that you want your video to be so you need to drag it over here to the new composition is going to take that clip time and put it over here and uh, it's going to be the exact time of the clip as you can see you can go to composition settings and it's 8 minutes and 20 I mean not 8 minutes 8 seconds and 21 I don't know little seconds <laughs> so what you have to do now is create a new layer now it's not going to be just a layer it's going to be a null object after you create a null object what you want to do next is create a camera so go to layer new camera and just click OK it's maybe 50 millimeters is fine click OK and we'll name it cinematic underscore camera and this let's just say by the way guys this is shortcut you can press here press enter and it's gonna rename it should rename it yep object now if we go to this let's just rename it original clip what is going on original battlefield 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 three okay cool so now we can get started so when you go to the null object you want to press P it's gonna open up the position now there's a little clock right here and it's a keyframe what you want to do next is hold alt press the clock and it's gonna bring up this now it's a it's a simple expression not the simplest not the most simplistic one but it's pretty simple so what you want to type in is wiggle wiggle open quote how many times per second you want to wiggle let's just say two comma how many times in general you want it to wiggle for the whole entire clip let's just say 50 Op uh, close quotes and then just click out of the box and as you can see the null object is wiggling but what the heck it's not connected to our clip I wonder why that might be so what you have to do next is drag the null object no drag the camera to the null object and drag the clip to the null object and now you see the clip is moving why is that I do not know why is that Russian Alex actually guys my bad you don't even need a camera so just delete the camera and forget about it that's for a different effect which I will hopefully post a tutorial on pretty soon so you just need a null object so this null object is moving and it's like background is like disconnected I'm like what the heck how can you fix this what you have to do is select your original uh, video clip hold one corner of it press control shift and then make it bigger to balance each side out so it's not going to to be all distorted and, and crap like that and now you see that the clip is wiggling 
by itself. It's like a cinematic fly-in, cinematic fly-in, and it's it's kind of giving like a movie effect. Now, for a color correction, which I like to use, and it's very 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 simple. You go to layer, go to new adjustment layer, then you go to effect, and this uh, plugin is called Magic Bullet Looks. You go to looks, and uh, although you guys might not have this, it's very easy to find on the internet. Unfortunately, you cannot ask me, so don't even try to ask me because I am not going to answer. Um, and you go to popular film, the category popular film, and you go to blockbuster. And then you click OK. And it's going to look really smexy. And as you can see, it's a very sexy kind of effect and or color correction. But that's up to you guys. Now, if you want a mask to your color correction, what I mean by mask is a blur mask. I usually want to add a new layer, so adjustment layer, and then just rename it blur. Gaussian blur. So, here you go. I did that. Effect, blur and sharpen, then Gaussian blur. What you want to do now, you don't want to blur out the whole screen like so. You just want to blur out part of the screen. So go to the mask masking tool, click on it or the pen tool, and make like a I don't know, maybe like so you can see the sky and everything blurred out. So make like a mountain kind of thing. Go along with the mountains and the ocean. And it's okay if you get out of the box later because it doesn't really matter what's inside of the box. I mean, outside of the box. Now, what you have to do is go inside of the layer, masks, and then subtract. This means it's going to subtract, it's not going to concentrate on this area that we highlighted, it's going to do everything around this area, which we want. And now we want to put the blur to maybe, let's say, 7.3. And uh, to me, that looks pretty nice. Pretty, pretty damn nice. Now, maybe like, okay, like this. Okay, now you see that there's a little kind of edge going with the blur. You don't want that because that just looks disgusting and ugly. You want to feather it, which basically means soften it. So give it like 44, depending on what kind of a blur you got and what the intensity of the blur is. Just feather it, not too much, so it kind of glides along with the clip. And now, as you can see, um, I'm sorry guys, my computer is kind of slow right now. The effect is taking place. It's wiggling the screen and as a color correction and a blur effect. And it's really cool. Looks very cinematic, and for the beginning of a montage, it's pretty cool. I got to admit. So now what you have to do is just composition, add to render queue, and then render the thing out. If you have audio in After Effects, just do audio input or output. And um, I usually render out in video for Windows. But what am I talking about? That's a whole different tutorial. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been Russian Alex with another simple tutorial. Um, request tutorials for more videos on how to do stuff in Adobe After Effects and Cinema 4D and I'll see you guys soon in my next tutorial. Bye bye.